Alright, what's going on you guys? DC Fan 99 here. Welcome back for another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the off-season, free agency, all that shit. Uh, before I get into that though, I, I uploaded a video a couple days ago. I think it was Friday. By far the funniest video I've ever made. I know that's not saying much, but it's by far the best video on my channel. The link will be in the description, or if you want, you can uh, find it on my channel. The title is A Retard, or a Retard Cuts Down a Tree. It is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> but, with that being said, let's get this started. Uh, I think free agency starts... I have no clue. One guy said March 9th, and one other guy said March 12th. I have no fucking idea. Uh... If somebody knows for a fact that it starts on this day, please tell me in the comment, se uh, comment section down below. Um, <clears throat> the top five players in free agency I would uh, love to have come to the Dallas Cowboys. Starting at number five is Brock Osweiler. Backup quarterback for the Denver Broncos. He reminds me of Ben Roethlisberger. He's, he's hard to take down. You know what I mean? He's dang near seven foot tall, dude. He can stand tall over the offensive line, man, find some uh, wide receivers. I haven't really seen him play that much, but I think he'd be a solid backup. I highly doubt that the Broncos would just let him walk. But if he does become available, I'd love to have him. Number four, Chris, well, it's actually a tie for number four, two players. Chris Ivory and Lamar Miller, running backs from the AFC East. Um, from the Jets and the Dolphins, you know, I as I said if, like a week ago, I was not really, you know, excited or hyped at all about Matt Forte. I don't know why, it just, I have no idea, I just wasn't really, you know, excited for it. And you know, everyone's getting excited about, you know, New England and Dallas are very interested in this guy. I mean, if we do get him, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to bitch or complain or whatever. But, as I said uh, last week, I want a guy that's about on the same level as Darren McFadden. Uh, have a solid backup for him. That'd be a hell of a one-two punch. Uh, but, yeah, Chris Ivory, Lamar Miller, both look pretty solid, you know. Um, <clears throat> next, number three, Chris Long. Uh, why the hell did he get released by the L.A. Rams? I have no idea. God, that's going to take a while for me to get used to. The L.A. Rams. Los Angeles Rams. Man. Uh, it's going to take a while for me to get, uh, get used to that. And Lord knows we need a defensive end because Randy Gregory, you stupid son of a bitch. Oh, my God. It's only February. We lost a pl We already lost a player for four fucking games. Randy Gregory, I'm going to tell you the same shit I told to J.J. Watt during the postseason. Your, dude, your career is swirling down the shitter right now. But at the very last second, you can still pull that shit out. Okay? Save your career. You are fucking yourself up and you are screwing up this team. Definitely, okay? I... This happens every year, too. Once the season ends, guess what? Half the team is already gone. It's bullshit, dude. Right after week 17 ends, bam, there goes half the team. Randy Gregory, fuck you, man. You have a lot of potential. I've been dying to see you start, but come on, dude. Anyways, Chris Long, number three. Number two, I think he was released on... Monday or Tuesday, I think. I'm not sure, but Antonio Camardi, 11-year veteran, just got released by the New York Jets. I would love to have him come to Dallas. I think I heard a rumor that he said he actually wants to come to Dallas. I'm not sure. I would love to have him. You guys, <laughs> you guys already know how I feel about this bullshit secondary. I'm not going to get into that, okay? I already talked about it enough. Bring in Antonio Camardi. Last, but certainly not least, 
I don't know why he would, but if he does become available, holy shit, dude. This would be awesome if we get him. Super Bowl contender with the Carolina Panthers. Defensive back Josh Norman, dude. This guy's a beast, man. I would say he is easily a top three corner in this league. Uh, and also, when... <laughs> When they went up against the New York Giants, he made Odell Beckham Jr. look like a bitch, dude. And I love that shit. Just, this was the reason why I didn't, uh, one of the two reasons why I didn't want the Panthers to make the Super Bowl. Number one, because I fucking hate Cam Newton. And number two, Odell Beckham Jr. and uh, Josh Norman were selected to the Pro Bowl. So I wanted to see a round two. Ding, ding, ding. And to, <laughs> if we pick him up, to see those two go at it twice a year, even if they don't fight, it would still be very entertaining to watch, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> putting Odell Beckham Jr. in his place, I like that shit, dude. I love that. Come on my team, Josh Norman. I, again, I highly, highly, highly doubt if he's going to become available, but if he does, Dallas, you better pick his ass up. I swear to God, dude. I was going to say I'm fed up with this bullshit secondary every year, but I'm not going to get on that shit. So, quick recap. Number five, Brock Osweiler. Number four, uh, Chris Ivory or Lamar Miller. Number three, Chris Long. Number two, Antonio Camardi. And number one, Josh Norman. Um... You know, we definitely need to make some changes defensively due to the fact that, you know, Greg Hardy uh, is very likely that he will be leaving Dallas. Um, which, at first, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really pissed off about it because, you know, we would get to see more of Randy Gregory. But that just went right down the shitter. Um... <clears throat> In the draft, man, uh, I'll talk more about the draft in like a later video, but I highly doubt we're going to get a backup quarterback from free agency. Uh, another reason why I highly doubt we'll get Brock Osweiler. Um, which, I'm really, I don't know if we should go with a quarterback in the first round. Jalen Ramsey, he's a beast, dude. I would love to have Jalen Ramsey on this team, man. Um, but if you do get a quarterback in the first round, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't flip out or anything. Uh, but definitely either a quarterback or a secondary player, okay? Defensive end, yeah, sure, whatever. But if you do get a quarterback in the first round, the next two rounds better damn sure be defensive players. So with that being said, guys, uh, that's the end of the video. I'll see you, um, <clears throat> in the next video. Again, link is in the description below to the funniest damn video on my channel. Go check that shit out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.